Good morning, doctors. Uh, today we are on a 34th day of reading Oxford Handbook of General Practice. I am Dr. Sesha, your study buddy, and we are preparing together for MRCGP AKT exam. We are uh, currently reading the topic uh, chapter Dermatology, and the topic is Benign Skin Tumors, page number 600. Seborrheic keratosis, senile wart, basal cell papilloma, chondrodermatitis nodularis, 923. Seborrheic keratosis we have already read. It is a stuck on, it has a stuck on appearance. And chondrodermatitis nodularis, we will see in the page number 923. Milia, we already have seen 595. Nevus, benign proliferation of more than one normal constituents of the skin. The most common type is melanocytic nevus or a mole. Most common, most develop in the childhood and adolescent. Features are congenital nevus present at birth less than in one person Caucasian. Can Less in dark skin ratios, usually more than 1 cm in diameter with a very large, uh, if very large, there is an increased risk of malignancy. Congenital nevus, that is. Junctional nevus, flat, round, oval or brown, black, 2 to 10 mm in diameter. Common sites are the soles, the palms and the genitalia. Intradermal nevus, dome-shaped papule or nodule commonly on the face or neck may be pigmented. Compound. Compound nevus less than 10 mm in diameter, smooth surface, variable pigmentation. Blue nevus, blue colored solitary nevus usually found on the face or extremities, especially hands and feet. Halo. Common in children and adolescents, solitary multiple. White halo of depigmentation surrounds a nevus which then disappears, associated with vitiligo. New onset in adults may suggest a melanoma elsewhere. So, halo nevus, if it, it is uh, present in childhood or adolescence, it suggests vitiligo. And uh, if there is a new onset in adults, it may suggest a melanoma elsewhere. Differential diagnosis of a nevus. It could be a freckle, it could be lentigo, seboric keratosis, hemangioma, maybe pigmented, dermatofibroma, pigmented BCC, basal cell carcinoma, melanoma. Management. Patient usually present if worried about the mold. Refer for your urgent dermatology assessment if malignancy is suspected. Skin tags. Common. Small pedunculated polyps found in the axilla, groin, neck or in the eyelids. Reassure. Cosmetic removal can be achieved by snipping across the skin tags with scissors, cryotherapy or diatomy. Sebaceous cyst. Epidermal cyst. Common. Round or oval keratin film firm cyst. 1 to 3 cm in diameter within the skin. Usually a punctum is seen on the surface. Reassure. Treat any complicating bacterial infection with oral antibiotics like flucloxacillin 500 mg curious. Excision is curative. Dermatofibroma. Dermatofibroma. Common in uh, females more than males, young adults or more than elderly and usually asymptomatic. Form sometimes pigmented nodule of 5 to 10 mm in diameter that may occur following an insect bite or a minor trauma. Most common sites are the lower legs. Treatment is not usually required. Refer urgently to dermatology if diagnostic uncertainty. Keratoacanthoma. Rapidly for a growing nodular tumor less than 2 cm in diameter of a sun exposed skin of the face or arms so rapidly growing nodular tumor a central keratin plug may fall out to leave a crater heal spontaneously over several months leaving a scar differential diagnosis could be a squamous cell carcinoma so lesions have similar appearance to SCC and should be referred urgently to dermatology Campbell de Morgan spot or cherry angiomas small bright red papules on the trunk in middle aged or elderly patients usually require no treatment so this one is a dermatofibroma, a uh, very bad picture, very uh, and uh, keratoacanthoma, this one with a central keratin plug. Keloid scar, proliferation of connective tissue pre presenting as firm smooth nodules 
or plagues in response to trauma. A scar is termed hypertrophic if the changes are limited to the scar, but keloid if it extends beyond the limit of original injury. Most common sites are upper back, the chest, the ear lobes. More common in dark skin races. Management of keloids. Consider steroid injection into the scar. Refer to dermatologist or a plastic surgeon if this is ineffective. Other treatments include cryotherapy or topical silicone gel sheeting. So, this is the other treatments. Pyogenic granuloma. Bright red blood crusted nodule that bleeds easily. Typically at the site of trauma, a small cut and enlarges rapidly over 2 to 3 weeks. Usually occurs in adults. Sorry, in children and young adults. Most common site is the finger. Differential diagnosis could be a melanoma. Management. Pregnant women may disappear spontaneously after delivery. Other patients, curatage and cautery or excision sent for histology to exclude a malignancy. Lipoma. Common benign tumor of the fat. Presents as a soft mass of subcutaneous tissue, often multiple, more common on the trunk and neck and upper extremities. Removal is rarely necessary. Refer for imaging or surgical excision if more than 5 cm in diameter, rapidly enlarging or painful. So this one is a pyogenic granuloma on the finger crease. This is a keloid scar. Mostly it is hyperpigmented. Page 602 Skin Cancer Sun Safety Code 80% Skin Cancer is preventable. Take care not to burn. Protect the skin with white clo with clothing including a shirt, trousers, skirt, hat, ultraviolet protective sunglasses. Seek shade between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. Apply high factor sunscreen SPF 30 with a high UVA protection. Take a particular care to protect children in the sun. Tutinous melanoma. Every year in the UK, there are 11,900 new cases of melanoma. Lifetime incidence is 1 in 60 and 2,800 deaths. Incidence is rising, particularly common in the Caucasians. Frequently metastasizes and may present with metastasis types. Superspecial spreading melanoma, 70% of the cases, UK cases, females more than males, more common site, lower leg, back uh, or lower leg in 50% of the cases and back in males, macular lesion with variable pigmentation. So superficial spreading is a macular lesion with variable pigmentation and it is it makes up for 70% of the cases, nodular, nodular um, melanoma makes up 20% of the UK cases, uh, males more than females, most common on the trunk, firm nodule, pigmented pink, occasionally skin colored, grows rapidly and may ulcerate. So these are all pigmented pink nodules, which is nodular melanoma, lentigo maligna, arises in the sun damaged skin, usually on the face and melanoma develops many years after within it. Most common, more than 60 years, presents as an irregular brown-black patch. Brown or black patch. This is lentigo maligna. Lentigo maligna is seen more than 60 years of age. Acral lentiginous melanoma affects all the races but accounts for 30 to 60 percent of melanoma in black skin population. So whenever you are given a stem, with a black skin population that is Afro-Caribbean patient, you think in lines of acral lentiginous melanoma. It affects mostly the palm, soles and nail beds, often detected late. Risk factors, UV exposure, especially sunburn when young, sun beds, genetic 10% have a family history, multiple benign moles more than 100, confers 10 times increased risk. Some people have multiple benign moles which are more than 100, it, it increases the risk. Congenital nevus, previous melanoma, immunosuppression, fair skin type, red hair, blue eyes and burn easily, they are more prone. Assessment, encourage patients to report changes in moles early. Check the A, B, C, D, E, F criteria. A is asymmetry, B is border irregularity, C is color variation, D is diameter, E is evolution, changes in shape, size, color or elevation. F is funny looking mole, ugly duckling moles that stand out from the others are very discriminately for nodular melanoma. So funny looking nodular mole. Management. 
use the seventh point seven point checklist in the box 16.3 plus dermoscopy findings if available to identify changes needing referral refer all the suspicious lesions for urgent dermatology assessment plus wide excision dermoscopy Requires specialized training, useful for distinguishing benign or malignant pigmented lesions. Specialist treatment, best chance of cure comes with complete excision. Chemotherapy, radiotherapy are of little benefit but biological therapies, example interferon, interleukin-2, ipilimumab, vemurafenib. Okay, Those are, these are specialist treatments for melanomas. Uh, chance of cure comes with complete excision. Chemotherapy, radiotherapy have little benefit, but biological therapies like interferon, interleukin 2, ipilimumab, vemurafenib. Vemura These are the four drugs which are commonly used. These are biological therapies, have little benefit. A treatment vaccine is currently undergoing trials. Prognosis relates to tumor depth at presentation. Five year survival if less than 0.76 millimeters depth. 95% if more than 4 mm deep, 45% if metast uh, no, 5 year survival less than 0.76 mm deep is 95%, more than 4 mm deep is 45%, metastasis is 10%, Kaposis sarcoma, page 722. So, this is a malignant melanoma, does look different. And superficial spreading melanoma, the, this is the first figure, this is superficial spreading melanoma and this one is a nodular melanoma. Seven point checklist for moles, to score two points for any major feature and one point for a minor feature. Lesions scoring more than three points are suspicious and then you refer. Major signs, change in size, increase in size, that is two points. Irregular shape, irregular border, asymmetry, elevation. 2 points. Irregular color is 2 points. Minor signs more than 7 millimeters in diameter is 1 point. Inflammation 1 point. Oozing including crusting or bleeding is 1 point. Change in sensation including symptoms of minor irritation or itch is again 1 point. So these are 7 point uh, scoring and if the score is more than 3 you have to be suspicious of a melanoma and refer. One feature is enough to prompt referral if high level of suspicion is there for low suspicion level lesions Monitor for a change over 8 weeks. Bowen's disease is intraepidermal squamous cell carcinoma. Common intraepidermal squamous cell carcinoma. Common typically occurs in the lower leg in elderly women. Lesions are flat edged. Flat edged, pink, slightly pigmented, scaly plaques. Less than 5 cm in diameter. May be solitary or multiple. Risk factors are chronic sun exposure, immunosuppression, 3 to 5 percent transfer to SCP. Biopsy confirms diagnosis. Treatment is with 5 fluorouracil cream OD for 4 weeks, imicumod cream or cryotherapy. Avoid the lower legs. For cry cryotherapy, you need to avoid lower legs. Excision is only, only usually required if diagnostic uncertainty is there. Otherwise, you give 5 fluorouracil cream for Bowen's disease. So this one, the lesions are flat edged, pink, slightly pigmented, scaly plaques, which are less than 5 cm in diameter. Because anything more than 7 cm, you should think in lines of carcinoma and refer. Squamous cell carcinoma, 20% of skin cancer in the UK, most common more than 55 years, uh, male, to f male more than the females, male metastasize 10%. Usually develop in sun exposed sites like the face, the neck and hands. May start with an actinic solar keratosis. Actinic or solar keratosis or de novo as a nodule which progresses to ulcerate and crust. Causes. Chronic sun damage, x-ray exposure, chronic ulceration, scarring. Aggressive uh, squamous cell carcinoma may develop at the edge of chronic ulcers, smoking pipes and cigars, industrial carcinogens, wart virus, immunosuppression and genetic causes. Okay, these are the causes.
So this squamous cell carcinoma that develops at the edge of chronic ulcers is called as Marjolin ulcer. Management: Refer urgently to dermatology. Treat her with surgical excision and lymph node biopsy. Large lesions may require skin grafting. Radiotherapy is an alternative for large lesions in elderly patients. So it is supposed to be treated with surgical excision and lymph node biopsy. Basal cell carcinoma, rodent ulcer or BCC, most common form of skin cancer, accounts for 75% of the skin cancer in UK. Locally invasive but may rarely metastatize. Tends to occur in the middle-aged or elderly patients. May be multiple, affects any site. Three major types are there. Can, all can be pigmented. Three major types and all of them can be pigmented. Middle-aged or elderly patients and multiple. Can be multiple. Nodular type. Most common, often the head and neck starts as a small pearly nodule plus surface telangiectasia necrotized centrally, leaving a small crusted ulcer with a pearly rolled edge. So, anything pearly, pearly, pearly is nodular basal cell carcinoma. Superficial, more than one pink patch with erosions and wide and a fine whip cord edge. So, superficial is more than one pink patch with erosions and fine whip cord edge. Trunk is the most common site. So this is superficial basal cell carcinoma. Morphic, morphic or waxy indurated plaques resembling a scar, usually on the face. Dermoscopy of basal cell carcinoma requires specialized training. So whenever you are doing a dermoscopy, it can show focal ulceration, absence of pigment network, multiple blue, grey, round or oval globules. Round or oval globules, linear and ab aborizing, three branch like telangiectasia, uh, structureless or leaf like areas towards the edge of the lesion, spoke wheel areas like spokes of a wheel radiating from a central hub. Causes sun exposure, x ray irradiation, chronic scarring, genetic predisposition, and arsenic ingestion. Management Complete excision is ideal. Refer routinely if low risk of to GP. With specialized interest in working in a community skin cancer clinic, if uncertain or any high risk features are there, then refer to dermatology or plastic surgery. So, what are the high risk features? We will listed in table 16.4. Prognosis. Recurrence rate is 5% at 5 years for surgery and slightly higher for non-surgical treatments. Development of new basal cell calcium at other sites is common. So, what are the high risk features where you have to refer to dermatology? Is Size more than 2 cm. Sight. The nose, the paranasal folds, the scalp, temples and lips. Nose, paranasal folds, scalp, temples and lips. Previously treated lesion. So already you have treated a previous lesion which has again developed into a, again a uh, basal cell carcinoma. Immunosuppression, genetic disorder associated with BCC that is Gorlin syndrome. In these cases, these high risk features are there. You have to refer to oncology or dermatology. Bowen's disease, this one, pinkish, scaly, with blurred margins, squamous cell carcinoma showing ulcerated nodule, yes, rolled out edges and necrosis, this one is again nodular, basal cell carcinoma, A is nodular basal cell carcinoma, Pearly nodule showing telangiectasia. B is superficial basal cell carcinoma. If you can uh, notice, pink red patch with focal erosions and subal whip cord edge. Pink red patch, focal erosions, and subal whip cord edge. This one actually. Yeah, see, look at the whip cord edge. Pink lesion, focal erosions, and whip cord edge. See, there is erosion over here also. Also, C. Morphic BCC can be difficult to see. Waxy indurated plaque. See, looks waxy. It does look waxy. It's an in waxy indurated plaque. Okay. So, uh, page 606 bacterial skin infection. Impetic. Superficial skin infection due to Staphylococcus aureus, very common in childhood. The thin wall blister ruptures easily to leave a yellow crusted lesion, impetigo. 
may occur anywhere but most common on the face differential diagnosis could be a hsp fungal infection ringworm lesions spread rapidly and are contagious avoid spreading to other children no sharing of towels face flannels etc some schools or nurseries child minders prohibit attendance until lesions are cleared reassure that it is non scarring localized treat with topical antibiotics like fusidic acid cream widespread treat with oral fluoxetine and or clarithromycin when it's widespread so fluoxetine is for staphylococcus infection and clarithromycin or clarithromycin erysipelas and cellulitis acute infection of the derm is often preceded by a fever or flu like symptoms usually affects the face and lower leg preceded by fever and flu like symptoms usually affects the face or the lower leg appears as a unilateral painful tender reddened area with well defined edge often the area is swollen and may blister may be an obvious entry uh, wound differential diagnosis angioedema contact dermatitis and gout so this is erysipelas and cellulitis and it has some systemic symptoms and affects the face and lower leg so cellulitis usually face and the lower leg and painful tender reddened area with a well defined edge this is one more thing management severe infection i admit for iv antibiotics for cellulitis around uh, scaling is there classification for admission or oral antibiotic treatment so severe infection admit for iv antibiotics if systemically well mark the area before starting fluoxetine 500 mg qds or clarithromycin 500 mg bd for 7 to 14 days advise to seek help if infection is spreading or become systemically unwell if facial infection is there treat with phenoxymethylpenicillin for 500 mg qds fluoxetine 500 mg qds if staphylococcus infection is suspected clarithromycin 500 mg bd if penicillin allergy is there have a low threshold for admission again recurrent infections more than two episodes at one site may need prophylactic long term penicillin phenoxymethylpenicillin 250 mg od or bd with attention to skin care and management of any lymphedema if there is recurrent infection that is more than two episodes at any particular site this one is erysipelas and cellulitis boils and carbuncles recurrent infections more than two episodes at any one site may need prophylactic long term penicillin phenoxymethyl penicillin 250 mg od or bd with attention to skin care and management of any lymphedema boils and carbuncles boils or furuncle an acute infection of the hair follicle usually with staphylococcus aureus hard tender uh, red nodules surrounding a hair follicle become larger and fluctuant after several days occasionally associated with fever and malaise may later discharge pus or a central core before healing may leave a scar predisposing factors usually absent diabetes hiv obesity blood dyscrasia and immunosuppressive drugs could cause boils and furuncles carbuncle Swollen, painful area or discharging pus from several points occurs when a group of hair follicles become deeply infected, usually with staph aureus. May be associated with fever and malaise. Predisposing factors: malnutrition, cardiac failure, drug addiction, severe generalized dermatosis, prolonged steroid therapy, and diabetes. Cardiac failure, drug addiction, severe generalized dermatosis, prolonged steroid therapy. prolonged steroid therapy is one of the risk factors and diabetes for carbuncle so management management of skin infections carbuncle and boils or furuncle non fluctuant lesions apply moist heat to relieve the discomfort example help uh, discomfort help localize the infection and promote drainage if fever or surrounding cellulitis or lesion is on the face treat with oral antibiotics example fluoxetine 500 mg qds for 7 days clarithromycin 500 mg bd if is an alternative if allergic to penicillin
If fever surrounding cellulitis or lesion on the face, then treat with oral antibiotics, blucloxacillin, clarithromycin, if alternative to penicillin. If large but localized painful fluctuant, consider incision and drainage. Do not attempt if you are not confident. Admission may be needed if young, uncooperative child or the boy is sensitive area like genital region, the face, the neck, axilla, breast. Afterwards, treat with oral antibiotics until inflammation dissolves. Admit. If not settling with primary care treatment, you need to admit. If recurrent or chronic, take swabs for culture from the lesions and carrier sites like nose, axilla and groin. Treat the carrier site with topical antibiotic like neceptin, QDS for 10 days. And advise improved hygiene and use of antiseptics in the bath like chlorhexidin. Consider long-term antibiotics, example clarithromycin, 500mg OD. Folliculitis. Superficial infection of the hair follicles usually caused by staph aureus. Presence as pustules in the hair bearing areas. Example the legs, the beard area. Risk factors are obesity, diabetes, occlusion from clothing, topical steroid use, differential diagnosis is malassezia, folliculitis. Management. Exclude diabetes, mellitus, treat with topical antiseptic or if resistant, topical or systemic antibiotics. So, first is antiseptic, then antibiotics. Bucidic acid cream or oral flucloxacillin if recurrent or chronic. Treat as for recurrent boils. Acute paronychia. Infection of the skin and soft tissue of the proximal and lateral nail fold most commonly caused by staph. Often originates from a break in the skin or cuticle and results from minor trauma, example nail biting. Skin and soft tissue of the proximal and lateral nail fold are red and hot and tender. May may appear discolored or distorted. Treat in the same way as a boil. So what you will do, like a boil, you need to check if it is small or if it is fluctuant, if it is non-fluctuant, moist heat, uh, help, help localize the infection, promote drainage. If uh, fever and surrounding cellulitis is there, glucloxacillin, QDS for 7 days or clarithromycin, BD for 5 days. If large but localized painful fluctuant, then drainage. So, same for paronychia. Staphylococcal vitlo or felon. Infection involving the bulbous distal portion of the finger following trauma or ex extension from an acute paronychia. The finger bulb is red, hot, edematous and usually acquisitely tender. Onset of pain is rapid and there is a swelling of entire finger pulp. Differential diagnosis, herpetic vitlo. Management. If fluctuant, admit for drainage and antibiotics. If non-fluctuant, elevate, apply moist heat, soak in hot water and treat with oral antibiotics. If this fails, admit for incision and drainage. So, basically you are supposed to treat with antibiotics if non-fluctuant and admit for drainage and antibiotics if it is fluctuant. Wound infection. Suspect if there is a wound becomes painful, look for swelling, erythema, wound tenderness plus pus. Risk factors of wound infection are malnutrition, diabetes, carcinomatosis, steroid therapy, infection near the site of incision, contamination of the wound. Management. If pus is present, send a swab for microscopy culture sensitivity. If indurated plus infection is localized to the wound, suspect staphylococcus. Treat with flucloxacillin 500mg QDS or clarithromycin 500mg BD. So, pus is present, send a swab, indurated plus infection, localized to the wound, suspect staph or staphylococcus, treat with flucloxacillin 4 times a day or clastomycin BD, if cellulitis around the wound, suspect streptococcus. So, if limited to the wound is staph, if around the wound is strept, treat with phenoxymethyl penicillin QDS or clastomycin BD, if foul smell, suspect anaerobes.
Treat with metronidazole 400 mg CDS. Give adequate analgesia. Address the wound frequently. Review regularly. Allow pus to drain. If a surgical wound, refer back to the operating surgeon if simple measures are ineffective. Necrotizing fasciitis. Life threatening soft tissue infection usually occurs in otherwise healthy individuals after a surgery or trauma, often minor. Ill defined erythema plus high fever. The wound rapidly becomes necrotic. Admit as an emergency for IV antibiotics plus surgery. Necrotizing fasciitis, life threatening soft tissue infection usually occurs in otherwise healthy individuals after a surgery or trauma, often minor. Ill defined erythema plus high fever will be there and the wound rapidly becomes necrotic. Admit as an emergency for IV antibiotics and surgery. Page number 608 Viral skin infections. Systemic viral infections, uh, HIV infection, viral warts, common and benign. Uh, Common and benign due to infection of the epidermal cells with HPV. More than 15 type, 50 types have been identified. The virus is transmitted by direct contact. Immunosuppressed patients are particularly vulnerable. Genital warts, page 724. Common warts, dome shaped papules with papilliferous surface, usually more than 1 cm. Most common on the hands, but may affect other areas. In children, 30 to 50 percent disappear spontaneously in less than 6 months. Plantar warts or verrucas on the sole of the feet, common in children. Pressure makes them grow into the dermis. Often painful, characterized by dark punctate spots on the surface, which may need paracallus off to see. Warts group together to form mosaics. Plain warts. Smooth, flat top papules, often slightly brown in color, most common on the face or back of the hands, usually more than one. Manage as per common plantar warts, eventually resolve spontaneously, may show Cobner phenomenon. Treatment of common plantar or plain warts. Refer to immuno, refer immunosuppressed patients for specialist advice. Otherwise, treatment is usually unnecessary. If a patient is insens, insistent, advise OTC, topical salicylic acid preparations, example, geofilm or selectol. HPV vaccination, page 725. Herpes simplex infection. HSV is transmitted by direct contact with the lesions. Lesions may appear anywhere on the skin or mucosa but are most frequent around the mouth, lips, conjunctiva, cornea and genitalia. Diagnosis is usually clinical. Primary HSV is traumatitis. After a prodromal period of less than 6 hours of tingling and discomfort or itching, small tense vesicles appear on an erythematous basis. These burst to form multiple small painful mouth ulcers. Infection may be accompanied by systemic symptoms, example fever, malaise, tender lymph nodes. May be asymptomatic and go unnoticed. Management of primary HSV is stomatitis. Give symptomatic relief. Try analgesic mouth pauses, benzodiazepine, healing ulcers, uh, heal, benzodiazepine. Healing occurs if in 8 to 12 days. If seen less than 48 hours after onset, prescribe oral antivirals like acyclovir 200 mg 5 times a day. If unable to take fluids, become dehydrated, admit for IV fluids. Recurrent infection, cold source. Figure 16.32. After an initial infection, HSV remains dormant in the nerve ganglia. Recurrent eruptions can occur precipitated by overexposure to sunlight, by febrile illness, physical or emotional stress, or immunosuppression. The trigger stimulus is often unknown. Recurrent disease is generally less severe and more localized. Treat with a cyclovir 5% into 5 days if needed.
so this is for cold source and genital herpes page 724 neonatal herpes page 724 cold source this is a picture of a cold sore herpetic withlow is a swollen painful erythematous lesion on a distal phalanx with multiple vesicles visible see this is different from the other one that is felon uh, so in the felon the, it will be red painful or either white with pus in it but herpetic whitlow it has multiple vesicles visible on the distal phalanx results from inoculation of hsp through skin break or abrasion treat with topical or oral acyclovir molluscum contagiosum dna pox virus infection spread by contact common in preschool children less common in adults associated with contact sports example wrestling or sexually transmitted so mostly spread by contact childhood molluscum presences discrete pearly pink umbilicated papules 1 to 3 mm in diameter if squeeze the papules release cheesy material lesions are multiple group usually on the trunk the face or the neck untreated lesions resolve spontaneously after 12 to 18 months treatment is not needed seek specialist advice if immunocompromised genital molluscum present similarity to childhood molluscum but usually confined to genital area no treatment is needed but seen screen for other sexually transmitted infection or Solitary red rapid growing papule 1 cm in less than 1 cm in diameter often on a hand evolves into painful purple, purple pustule there is usually a history of close contact with sheep example wet or farmer or cows when termed milkers nodules cause parapox virus incubation 6 days resolves spontaneously in 2 to 4 weeks Complications include secondary infection, treat with topical or systemic antibiotics, erythema multifamily, lymphangitis. So yes, ORF is one of the important uh, causes of erythema multifarme also. So complications this is secondary infection or erythema multifarme or lymphangitis and usually uh, incubation period 6 days results spontaneously in 2 to 4 weeks. This is molluscum contagiosum. You can look at these small pearly white umbilicated nodules. And this is ORF of the thumb, it's less than 1 cm. And page number 16 fungal infections. Genital infection or thrush. Females more than males, itchy sore vulvovaginitis with pla white plaques on the mucous membranes and cheesy discharge. Men develop a similar picture. Differential diagnosis, psoriasis, lichen planus, lichen sclerosis, other causes of vaginal discharge. Intertrigo. Red and moist glazed area in the submammary, inguinal or axillary folds. It wet workers may, in wet workers may occur between the digits also. Patients may present with skin changes and or itch. Psoriasis. Again, differential diagnosis of intertrigo could be psoriasis. Uh, there is this one kind of psoriasis which was, uh, I don't remember. So, psoriasis, one form of psoriasis, tinea crurus, seboric dermatitis and bacterial skin infection. Oral, uh, oral fungal infection, sore mouth, poor feeding in infants, most common in babies are patients with poor oral hygiene or elderly with false teeth. White plaques visible on the buccal mucosa which can be wiped off. Angular stomatitis will be present. Light and planus epithelial dysplasia can be differentials. Nappy candidiasis, babies in the nappy area. It will be beefy in presentation. Beefy red areas. Nappy rash Con would be a good differential. Chronic paranoia. Often seen in wet workers. Patients with chronic nail fold inflammation. Bacterial infection or chronic eczema. Systemic candidiasis occurs in immunosuppressed individuals, HIV, malignancy, red nodules may appear on the skin. There are two major groups of fungal infections seen in the UK. Candidiasis, we have seen the table above for candidiasis. Uniform commensal of the mouth or GI tract which causes opportunistic infection. Risk factors, moist, opposing skin folds, obesity, diabetes, neonates, pregnancy, poor hygiene, humid environment, wet work, occupation, use of broad spectrum antibiotics. Presentation will be as above as in the table. Dermatophyte infections. The tinea notes denotes the fungal infection. Common affects the hair, skin, hair or nails. Skin capings or nail clippings may confirm the diagnosis of tinea. 
presentation will be as in table 16.11 we will see that general measures for prevention of fungal infections keep body folds separated and dry with dusting powder and minimize hot and humid conditions advise open footwear topical treatment of fungal infections mouth lesions remove the tongue deposits with a toothbrush by brushing two times a day treat with oral suspensions or gels like nystatin or meconazole if false teeth are present place an imidazole gel on the teeth before inserting the stay inserting and sterilize overnight with dilute hypochlorite solution so sterilize the false teeth with dilute hypochlorite solution overnight and then whenever you are placing the uh, false teeth you apply an imidazole before that genital lesions treat the, with imidazole cream or pessaries nail infections if confined to one or two nails use a lacquer or paint like amo amorolf amorolfin like nail paint or lacquer if one or two nails apply one to two weeks after filling filing or cleansing for six months so apply one to two times in a week the amorolfin nail lacquer and after filing or cleansing the nail and for six months for fingernails or 9 to 12 months for toenails avoid nail varnish artificial nails while treating if more extensive or ineffective consider oral therapy skin lesions use imidazole cream spray powder or terbinafin cream systemic treatment systemic treatment for fungal infections that is tinea infections use for resistant recurrent extensive or systemic infection nail or scalp infection warn about its side effects oral mucocutaneous or systemic candidiasis oral fuconazole 50 mg od for 1 to 2 weeks higher doses or prolonged therapy may be needed if immunosuppressed genital candidiasis single oral dose of 150 to 200 mg oral fluconazole tinea pedis or manum oral terbinafin 250 mg od for 2 to 6 weeks or itraconazole 100 mg od for 30 days or 200 mg bd for 7 days so this is for tinea pedis or manum tinea cruris or corporis oral terbinafin 250 mg od for 2 to 4 weeks for tinea cruris and 2 to and 4 weeks for tinea corporis or itraconazole 100 mg od for 15 days or 200 mg od for 7 days nail infection Consider if topical treatment is unsuccessful or more than two nails are involved. Confirm the diagnosis with nail clipping or mycology before treatment with oral terbinafin, 250 mg OD for six weeks to three months for fingernails. Pulse tetraconazole, uh, 200 mg BD for seven days. Repeated after 21 days for two into two for fingernail infections and into three for toenail infections. So two. courses for uh, fingernail infections three courses for toenail infections so this one also is terbinafin is 6 weeks to 3 months for fingernail infections and then 3 months to 6 months for toenail infection scalp infection if kirion pustula or boggy mass is suspected refer to dermatology otherwise oral terbinafin 250 mg od or griseofulvin 500 mg 1 g od depending on the sensitivity so kirion is a pustula boggy mass in the scalp otherwise uh, you have to refer for dermatology otherwise you can give ter- terbinafin or griseofulvin depending on sensitivity griseofulvin is teratogenic advise females to avoid pregnancy during treatment and for one month afterwards and males to use a contraception during treatment and for six months afterwards so this is for scalp infections kirion and if you are giving griseofulvin this is the precaution you have to give to the patient pityriasis versicolor page 596 we have seen corporis ringworm so dermatophyte infections tinea corporis ringworm trunk or limbs single multiple plaques with scaling erythema especially at the edges lesions enlarged slowly and clearly centrally has uh, clear centrally as hence it's called as ringworm discoid uh, differential diagnosis would be discoid eczema psoriasis or pityriasis rosea cruris or jock itch groin 
Males, uh, more than females, common in the athletes, associated with tinea pedis, involves the upper thigh plus scrotum rarely, uh, red plaque with scarring, uh, scaling especially at the edge. Intertrigo can be confused with intertrigo, candidiasis or erythasma. Pedis athlete foot. Feet. Males more than females, young more than old, itchy, maceration between the toes, risk cream involves swimming, occlusive footwear or hot weather, contact dermatitis, psoriasis or pomphalax could be the differentials. Capitis, head and hair, define inflamed scaly areas of alopecia and broken hair shafts. Alopecia areata, psoriasis or seborrheic eczema. Angua, nails, prevalence increases with age, uh, rare in children, toenails more than fingernails. Begins at distal nail edge, progress is proximal to involve the whole nail. Eventually results in thickening, yellowing, and crumbling of the nail plate. Tinea pedis often coexist. Psoriasis, trauma, can, nail changes can be seen in psoriasis also, trauma, and candidiasis. So you have to send the nail clippings for histopathology and diagnosis of the infection. Either it is tinea infection or a candidial infection, treat accordingly. Head lice, infestations, head lice. Most common in children aged 4 to 11 years, females more than males, but may occur in anyone. Contrary to popular belief, life infest, lice infest clean and often as dirty hair. Adult lice are about the size of sesame seed, brownish gray in color, wriggle their legs. Only adults are contagious, spread by close head to head contact. Lice own, do not jump or fly and do not remain viable away from a host. Symptoms or signs. Normally asymptomatic, detected by contact tracing of or other cases of routine inspection at home or school. Occasionally present as itchy scalp, presence as nits, presence of nits, eggshells, white dots attached to the hair, eggs or dead lies indicate past infection. A moving louse must be found to confirm active infection. Detection. After washing the hair, apply a conditioner and comb with a fine tooth detector comb available from the pharmacy. In actress groups, example, school children repeat weekly. Lice are removed by comb and seen trapped in its teeth. Management. Treat all the household contacts simultaneously. Prophylactic preparations. So, treat all the infected household contacts simultaneously. That is the new guideline. Prophylactic preparations. No evidence of effectiveness. Dimethacone, lotion or spray. Coats the lice and interface with the water balance, preventing from Preventing the exhibition of water, advised to rub into dry hair and scalp in the evening, allowed to dry naturally, then shampoo of the next day morning, repeat after 7 days. Insecticides, effective 4 types, malathion, phenothrin, permethrin, all available OTC but NHS prescriptions are often sought and carbaryl prescription only. Malathion, phenothrin, permethrin are used as first line or second line carbaryl is reserved for third line apply according to the manufacturer's instructions using two applications seven days apart check wet conditioned hair with detector comb before first application and then every two days until two to three days after second application supply enough for two applications shampoos are ineffective use lotions liquids or cream rinses mechanical clearance wet combed conditioned hair with fine tuned Comb until all lice are removed and repeat 3 to 4 days intervals for 2 weeks. Alternative to insecticide but requires motivation. Other methods of treatment. Electric combs, aromatherapy, T3 oil, herbal treatments. No evidence supporting use. If pregnant or breastfeeding, treat with wet combing or dimethicone. If the patient is pregnant or breastfeeding, treat with wet combing or dimethicone. Contact tracing. All cases, trace close contacts over the past month and ask them to check their scalps for lice or treated as needed. Reinfestation or resistance to treatment. Three possible reasons. Reinfestation lice found are large adults only. Ask patient to check for close contacts again. Retreat with different insecticide. Incorrect use of insecticide, mechanical clearance. Lice are mixed stages of development. Check the procedure and make sure instructions are understood. Repeat treatment with different insecticide. Resistance to insecticide. Lice are seen at all stages of development. Retreat with another product. Head lice with a needle thread to give an idea of the size.
crab pubic lice 725 scabies extremely contagious scabies mite scab sarcoptes scabies is 0.5 mm long and spread by direct physical contact average infection consists of 12 mites presentation symptoms of intense itching appear 4 to 6 weeks after infection examination reveals burrows irregular tortuous or slightly scaly less than 1 cm long on the sides of the fingers the wrist ankles nipples may form rubbery nodules on the genitalia itching results in excoriations mites may be visible with dermoscopy untreated infection becomes chronic differential diagnosis lichen planus dermatitis herpetiformis papular urticaria eczema management treat with a scabicide example permethrin 5% or malathion lotion apply according to manufacturer's instructions all close contacts need to be treated simultaneously which may result in all occupants of a residential home being treated apply to the whole body including the scalp neck face ears ensure finger and toe webs are covered and brush lotion under the ends of the finger nails or toes toenails reapply to the whole body after one week and to hands alone if washed with soap less than 8 hours after application advise patients to launder all uh, worn clothing and bleeding after bedding after application itching may persist for some time after elimination of infection use chilled corotamidone lotion and or sedating oral antihistaminics for symptomatic relief complications secondary infection treat with topical or systemic antibiotics crusted or norwegian scabies affects debilitated or immunosuppressed suppressed patients there is overwhelming infection with more than 1000 mites 10000 mites typically the infestation is not itchy but presents with crusted skin rash often misdiagnosed as psoriasis under the microscope crusts are seen in con seen to contain hundreds of scabies mites treatment is as for scabies resistant cases can be treated with ivermectin which is available only on a named patient basis in the uk discuss with specialist dermatologist people in contact with sufferers may develop red itchy rash themselves and treat with insecticide as for scabies so that's all for today doctors uh, we will continue tomorrow page number 614 dermatology skin changes as internal conditions thank you have a good day